Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how to run a Spring Boot application in AWS Amazon Web Service EC2 instance. So the agenda would be like I'm going to show you a very simple Spring Boot application. I'm going to access it locally and then I'll explain you briefly about uh, what exactly AWS Amazon Web Service using a diagram and then I'll follow the steps. We will create an AWS EC2 instance which is called as Elastic Compute Cloud and then we will create an S3 bucket where I will be placing the uh, where I'll be uploading the uh, Spring Boot application to the S3 bucket. From EC2 instance we will be accessing the Spring Boot application and then we will run the Spring Boot application inside the EC2 instance and then try to access from the browser. Okay. So let's go through one by one. The first step would be, I have created a very simple uh, Spring Boot application I'm going to show you in my ID. So this is a very simple Hello World uh, Spring Boot application. If you see, this is the entry. So you can see the annotation Spring Boot application and it has only one controller which, which has the root mapping and whenever you whenever you make like localhost 8080 uh, a welcome message will be displayed in the ui okay and this is the uh, html page so it's a very simple spring boot application i am showing in queue in the ide and it's already running i've used maven to build it so it's already up and running so let's go to the browser and access it so if you see here localhost 8080 so if you see so it's already running so spring boot application it's running locally so now what we are going to do is we are going to take this a simple spring boot application and we are going to copy to s3 packet and we are going to run this in a aws ec2 instance but before that, I want to sh I want to explain you briefly what exactly uh, AWS is all about. So Amazon Web Service, it's a it's a very big uh, company. Amazon is a very big company, and they provide infrastructure as a service. You can ask me like, what is infrastructure as a service? For example, if you have a company, uh, if you own a company and your company uh, has a ticket booking system, okay, you have your own product club. Like ticket booking system and you want to run this ticket booking system product in your own infrastructure in your data on it in your own data center it might it will take a lot of effort you need uh, computing power you need networking 24 bar 7 it should, your data center should be up and running that means everyone accessing your ticket booking system like it should be available always and for example today your customers might be like total number of customers might be like one lakh or one million and in a in a in a in a weekend it might be like 10 million then for that requirement your your product and your infrastructure should scale okay so it takes a lot of effort to achieve this so what amazon web service provide web services provide is they provide you an infrastructure as a service they're saying like you you are a product development company you focus on your product like ticket booking system okay once your product is ready we will provide you an infrastructure as a service like we will provide you the infrastructure we will give you the computing power okay so we are giving you the computers so you install your product forget about the availability the data backup how it's going to like scale and networking 24 bar 7 support so they're saying like we will host your application we will take care of your business okay you you focus on your product we will focus on your product running and and helping the customers okay so that's what uh, infrastructure as a service so if you if you ask me like even uh, even like a very simple way so what they do is like they have a very big uh, data center and I say data center it's a very big building for example and they have huge number of computers for example like 1 million computers 2 million computers terabytes of uh, storage uh, 
services and excellent networking so it's like a very big, imagine like it's a very big building which contains so much of blade servers and computing uh, machines okay and then they provide a nice ui uh, to connect with this data center for example this is like huge data center which has a lot of computing power storage and networking and to access this they have provided an excellent uh, ui like there are so many services i can go here actually so there are so many services but in this video i'm going to, I'm going to talk about only ec2 instance elastic cloud compute and s3 bucket okay it's like a simple storage service only these two services i'm going to explain but there are so many services they are providing like cloud trail cloud front cloud formation this is for automation actually and i am for uh, security and there are so many uh, so many services provide actually Q, Kinesis and different types of database like RDS, DynamoDB, it's, it's the topic itself is huge so I don't want to uh, cover all those stuff like for, let's focus on this demo this demo is like running a Spring Boot application in AWS that's all so in that case I'll be talking only about EC2 instance and S3 packet okay so it's a very big uh, company which provides an excellent infrastructure as a service for the customers okay so they have a big data center which has a computing networking and storage and they have provided an excellent uh, ui that's what i showed you just now okay so using this ui anyone can access so if you see here from my laptop i'm able to access i, I will I, I got an account a sample account uh, a, tr a free trial account and i'm able to access the Amazon Web Service, and then I'm creating an EC2 instance, and I've already created an S3 bucket. So from my laptop, I I, I pushed the pushed my Spring Boot application to the S3 bucket, and from from Spring, oh sorry, from EC2 instance, I was able to access the jar file, Spring jar file, Spring application jar file from S3 bucket, and load it here. This is nothing but a very small computer which is running in US or Frankfurt okay based on the instance based on where exactly you are creating the EC2 instance okay I'll show you how to do that so this is the at a high level what exactly Amazon Web Service means and how to access it from my laptop okay and then once my small Spring Boot application running on AWS EC2 instance I can start it from my terminal and then I can access from my browser okay so I just want to give you like at a high level what exactly AWS means okay let's go back to the steps okay okay so we, we saw local locally it's running and I, I just gave you a, a brief introduction about a, what this AWS means and let's go to the S3 bucket Let, let's create an S3 bucket I'll show you S3 bucket is for storage purpose so I already created so if you see here AWS S3 you can go to go to uh, main services and you, you can, and you can click on S3 and I already created S3 spring bucket okay it's public and it's it's created in Frankfurt okay and this is my spring boot application which I was showing you here like local host I copied it it's very easy you can just upload using uh, a UI so you can just drag and drop or you can add your files from your laptop when you add it's available it will be copied to the AWS uh, S3 bucket okay it's available in the uh, S3 bucket now already so now then we are going to create and we are going to create an uh, EC2 instance now so I've already given the steps here and I'm going to give you all the steps in the uh, video description you can you can follow it once again and you can try it on your own okay so let's go and create the EC2 instance so let's go to the services and click on in, in EC2 instance I'm going to show you the steps so already already one running instances so I will show you like how to create one so I have selected the Amazon uh, image AMI Linux image if you want you can select any of these but 
but be careful that only you select the free tier one otherwise you will be charged okay so i have already created one so I, I don't want to click it here click this button so already my uh, ec2 instance is create has been created and it's running so let's access that so if you see here i'm going to click on that ec2 instance i'm going to access this running instance okay so if you see here one ec2 one small vm they have given to me and it's already been created it's running okay so the when you say two by two that means like the hardware is proper and the system is also proper okay the hardware means like uh, storage uh, the, the the cpu everything is proper and the instance is up and running okay that's what it means if you see here uh, i can click on this connect and I, they will give you an, a sample command like ssh minus i and i want to talk about this one like why do we need this pem file because from your laptop okay from your laptop you're going to access this right so this is this ec2 instance is created somewhere uh, maybe frankfurt or us okay so from your laptop you're going to access this ec2 instance in a secure way so you need an access key right ssh, SSH key so SSH, ssh certificate okay that's why we need this we need this so when you create a uh, when you create this ec2 instance they will give you this file and you have to give a name so i gave a spring boot application okay and you have to download it i'll show you how uh, i have it so i'll show you the file as well so that you will get an idea so this is my Spring Boot application PIM file. Okay, it contains the secret key so that I can access my small EC2 instance which is running in the AWS infrastructure. Okay, then so I, I've copied, I'll show you the terminal like how I'm able to access it so that you can understand. Like, for example, then I copied this command. So, this is the command here. Okay, I try to access it. So it was saying that this Spring Boot application.pim file uh, does not have permission. So then I executed ch mode 400. This is very important step because you need the execution permission like 400 ch mode 400 for this pim file. Then again I started it. Then you can see here like I'm able to access from my laptop. That means I am. I am I already already log into that uh, ECT instance. Okay, I'm inside this login to uh, I'm inside this ECT instance. Then I try to uh, install uh, Java 8 because I want to run my Spring application inside the ECT instance. Okay, so then I it started installing it and I removed the old uh, uh, the existing uh, JDK. So I can show you that as well. So I can I, I was doing like yam remove java 1.7 open jdk because i want the latest one so that it's easy for me to run my application so then i executed java version and it showed me the current version is 1.8 okay and then one more step last step i need to bring now i have a computer and i have the java okay but then i need to bring an application on top of java that i can so that i can run it okay so my application is already in the s3 bucket what i'm doing i'm copying it okay so i use vgate and and i'm giving the link for my s3 uh, link for my application which is residing inside the s3 bucket okay so when i do that it's already it's already got copied here and you can see when i do ls it is inside the ec2 instance it is not my laptop please remember this is not inside my laptop it is the ec2 instance i'll show you the picture so that you can connect so i try to connect using my terminal to this ec2 instance we are inside this ec2 instance and we are doing like we are trying to get this application which is residing in s3 bucket and we are copying it to ec2 instance okay EC2 instance is nothing but very small VM. Okay, so that's what I did. This is inside the 
EC2 instance, AWS EC2 instance and I try to run Java Char Spring Boot. So this is what it means like it means like we are running a Spring Boot application inside the AWS EC2 instance. Okay, so when I ran the Spring Boot app started, now we can go to the browser and start accessing it. For example, here if you see again you can say this is not in my local this is we are trying to access from amazon okay ec2 aws ec2 instance okay so from my browser i'm able to access this application which is running okay i've given all the steps here So these all these steps I'll be giving you in the uh, description. I'm also giving I'm also going to give you the uh, GitHub link. You can download the uh, GitHub project. You can try on your own because it's free. You can create an account in AWS and you can uh, start following these steps and you can run this application in the AWS instance for, instance for practice. And I want to show you one more. Uh, very important step which is you have to uh, you have to ensure that that you opened up the 8080 port otherwise you will be getting an error so you can you can create using the security group one moment i'll show you how to do that networking change security groups so here So you can uh, go here and say security group. So you can create here. So I'm trying to check like so running instance instance state uh, you have to change this uh, you have to add like you have to open up this 8080 port Okay, I'll show you the step. I will show you what exactly you have to do. So, this 8080 port you have to uh, enable it. Like you have to open up. Okay, you have to you have to create a custom uh, security group and then you have to open it. I will give the steps in the description. You can follow it up. Okay. So we have uh, we are done with this uh, demo. Like how to run the Spring Boot application in AWS EC2 instance. If you have any questions, please post, a, post your questions in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for your time. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to share with your friends, please share. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe because I'm going to post more uh, technical videos. Thank you so much and all the best for your career. Thank you.